Alright guys, back here, my name is Abe Dawain and I'm excited to back to be back here to show you another tab within the project settings. I want to go to image scaling. Image scaling is kind of like a setting that helps you to scale your images or your images within your videos to fit within either the timeline resolution or timeline aspect ratio or or whatever you're playing your video within this DaVinci Resolve 17 program. Now we are going to go through some settings over here. Now the first one you notice how you will go to the image scaling and then input scaling, output scaling and that will be done. Well image scaling is kind of like um, um, when you import your image or your video it has a different, it has a, an aspect ratio that it comes with. Could be you shot it, you shoot it at could be one to one aspect ratio. Could be you shoot it at six in a 16 to nine aspect ratio. It depends on your computer that you set it up. I mean, it depends on your camera. It depends on your camera settings. That, that's where all that information really is. So when it comes to with a one to one aspect ratio and then you set up your project or oh, timeline settings to be a 16 to 9 then DaVinci Resolve is gonna scale it's gonna scale that video or that image to fit within the project or timeline settings that you say it get the point mm hmm all right so resize filter now this is kind of like um, helping you to resize uh, but it's kind of like a filter that helps you to j j just know it's kind of like something that helps you to fit your your image scaling your image scale into the timeline scaling setting you get the point so you want to make it could be sharper by cubic but I really like it to be sharper I'm just gonna leave it sharper All right, and uh, you can go to override input scaling. Now, when you are when you turn on this button, it means that you are you are, you are setting up something that's gonna always be uh, overriding any other setting that was there. Could be used. Your video is is um one-to-one uh, -one aspect ratio and then it's gonna override anything that was set up within your project or within your timeline I don't want to put on that so I'm just gonna leave that just as it is that the the inter the, the, interf the interlace quality you can turn that to either normal uh, or high or the DaVinci Neural Engine now if you don't really have the studio version you're not gonna see this option because I think it's only available within the, the, the studio version. I'm just going to leave it to normal and I am pretty satisfied with the normal one. Well, input scaling. Now input scaling is uh, what I was really uh, trying, to, uh, to, trying to explain to you. You want to have it scale entire image to fit. If you, if you select this option here, yes, center crop with no resizing, that means it's going to put your video in the center of the timeline and you have no option of resizing it unless you just go into the inspector and then you do stuff in there. And when you set up this scale full frame with crop, that means you're gonna scale the video into the timeline and you can have an option of cropping it. Now when you choose scale entire frame, entire image to fit, that means you are going to put in your video within the timeline and it's gonna fit, uh, it's, DaVinci Resolve is gonna be smart enough to fit your image within the timeline aspect ratio settings. If you also turn on this uh, stretch frame to all corners that means it's just gonna you know if you have really it's just gonna frame everything to all the corners which I don't really want so I'm just gonna select uh, scale entire image to fit that's really great for me and output scaling now when you turn on this uh, much and much timeline setting the, what this means is your your video was a one-to-one -one aspect ratio setting 
okay and then we have this time which is 16 to 9 where we scaled it but we want to render it out we want to output it and so we want to keep it just as it is now if you say much timeline settings that means it's going to output it uh, resembling with an aspect ratio just like that of the timeline if you don't do that that means you're going to have to put in your own output resolution which i don't really recommend i prefer that you match timeline settings so that you can have everything matching up with your timeline get the point mm -hmm. mismatch resolution files so uh, this is uh, uh, this is kind of like uh, an option that lets you uh, have any other mismatched resolution files to fit within the entire scale with within the the the, the timeline setting the timeline aspect ratio you get the point so when you're done with this just press save and boom let's go to another tab all right guys thanks for watching that's it for now